Hi. Today I want to go over a very, very common fault on Apple boards when you don't hear a chime on startup and there was some sort of liquid damage. And that is in this power circuit for the CPU. So there is a buck converter that does something that converts a higher DC voltage into a lower DC voltage using a switching power supply. So on the back of this board, Honestly, I don't even remember off the top of my head where it is, but somewhere on the back of this board, there are two transistors that go from the high power supply of the board to ground, and they create a bunch of little pulses that tell the CPU to turn on. So I demonstrated this to you in a prior video, and I explained what this is. So if you don't know what this is or how this works, if looking at this confuses the crap out of you, uh, look at the other video. It's the 820-3023 video where I explain how the CPU power supply works in a MacBook. It's a very, 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 very overly basic explanation, but it's enough that you're not going to be incredibly confused when you see it. Now, one of the things that goes wrong very often in this circuit, because all of you guys are always looking for the quick answer, for the monkey see, monkey do crap, where you know somebody just gives you the quick answer to everything. And one of the things that I'm always telling you is that there are no quick and easy answers for everything that you actually have to think that you have to use your brain, but on some cases, the answer is just so obvious that, you know, and it's such a common issue that it's something that you should look for. And I truly hate this because I'm encouraging this idea to look for the one little thing that's wrong. I don't want you, like, going through a checklist of things. I want you using your brain to find what the actual issue is, but whatever. I might as well show this to you. So this happens on a ton of them. It's called the CPU IMVP ton resistor. Now let me show you where this is up here. So here you are. So that's this 90.9 kilo ohm resistor. And in the case of some of the newer Apple boards, like the 820-3330, it's actually going to be a couple of higher ohm resistors. So it's usually like two 180 kilo ohm resistors or something like that. This thing is very often dead. Now this is on a MacBook Air, it's going from the 8 volt power supply. And on a MacBook Pro, it's going from the 12 volt power supply. So this is coming from a very, very high voltage up here. Because that PPVIN, S5, HS computer whatever the shit that's called, that is coming from the 12.6 volts that the computer is using to pretty much you know, turn itself on. So anytime you have a fault, and it's a fault that's happening at a higher voltage, like something happening on PP bus G3 hot, which is the 12.6 volt voltage that the whole board runs on, anytime you have a fault on backlight, which is you know upwards of 30, 40, 50 volts, you're going to have some issues, and they're going to be very, very obvious when you look at the motherboard. So let's get an idea what this board look like here. Let's just go down on this table a little bit and do some zoom. There we go. So there is my fix. Now, very often that resistor is destroyed. You can kiss that resistor goodbye. And virtually every case where I've had to do something like this, what I've had to do is, uh, I, I mean, the resistor itself is completely gone on one side. And most of the time, the pad is too. So most of the time, you're not just replacing this resistor because when this blows, it blows in such a violent fashion that the pad for it is actually messed up in addition to the actual resistor. So wh let me show you what that looks like under the microscope. Alrighty, where are you? There we go. So microscope. So let's take a look at this. So as I said, this is an LVDS wire from an A1150 MacBook Pro. This is nothing special. I have a lot of these still left, as you can see here. So this is what I'm using. Uh, it works very, very well for the task that's at hand here. Uh, and it's insulated, which is nice. It's free and Above all, the most important trait of this wire, it's right next to me. So, I mean, how, how, can, how can you argue with that? So, it's going from here. So, one of the things that I did to figure out what I'm supposed to do here is, let me show you on the schematic, I mean, on the board view. So, I'm looking for ppvin underscore s5 underscore hs underscore computing underscore isense. That is a mouthful. All right. So, one of the things that I do is I use a feature called nets on this which is going to allow me to look at every single part of the board that has a specific signal or a specific voltage running to it so here's what I'm gonna do with this okay let's zoom a little so I hit N and on my other screen because this program is a piece of garbage that hasn't been updated since 1995 
I'm not kidding. Look it up. Uh, by the way, all you people asking me, like, what's the name of the software that I use? Like, half of the time I am zoomed in on the software, and you can see the bar. I mean, could you, like, hit pause and write it down or something before you ask? Because, I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to be a dick, truly, but it just makes it seem like you're not even trying uh, to learn this. And there is so much learning that you have to do. There's so much trying and trial and error and research that you have to do to get this type of work done. That when I see that I literally zoomed in on the software, where you can clearly see the name of it, and you are asking me what software I use, what, it, what this does, and again, I'm going to sound like a dick for saying this, it makes it sound like you it look like you have not even tried. And if you haven't even tried with something that simple, then you're probably not going to try with the rest of the difficult shit to figure it out, which is why I haven't answered these questions. Again, it's not me trying to be a dick, even though it's going to seem like it, but if you don't have it in your head to look for the answers when they're literally right in front of you, how, are you, how do you expect to, to, to start doing this, like truly? I mean, you, th th this requires some, some work and a lot of research, unless you're just a born genius, which I am not, who just was born knowing that SMC B cock, SMC B C A cock goes high only when Charger AC <laughs> in works. All right, so when I do this, what it's doing right now is it's pretty much showing me every point on the board that this shows up. So instead of me having a look to find, you know, go, go through all the components and see which one is closest, I can simply uh, see where the closest point is where I can steal this from. So here is the resistor that went, that got fucked right over here. That pad is blown off. So what I did, I got a new 90.9 kilo ohm resistor. It's actually one right by the backlight circuit on an 820-2850. I have a lot of 820-2850s here because it is a piece of crap unfixable board. So that's the one that I have the most of to steal components off of. So I have that little resistor there. Here you go. See ya. Can you lock the door? And this is the nearest point from which I can steal. So what I did, as you can see in the microscope, is I ran a wire from that capacitor, very scientific, very uh, methodical, and uh, right over to here. And as you can see here, I, I cut out some footage because my camera actually froze, but this is that board with the wire on it, and it is, I do have a white screen here. That white screen is soon going to turn into a question mark folder, which I'll show you. Yeah, sometimes you can just tell when people are kind of asking the wrong questions, like, are you certified? Uh, how much is that part that you're putting in even cost? Uh, like, is Apple going to know that you were there? Why are they going to know that you're there? Well, jackass, because you decided to spill a Coca-Cola on your $2,700 computer. And as a result of that, I had two choices. I could tell you, fuck you, you have to buy a new computer, or would you like me to put this wire on and charge you 200 bucks so that you could be on your merry way? And... Most people would want the 200 bucks and be on their merry way. But on rare occasion, there are people that actually value Apple not being able to tell that you were there so much that they would simply rather buy a new machine. And that's, that's truly a level of uh, paranoia that I'm not really interested in dealing with. And as you can see, this is the same board, same wire, beautiful, and it works just fine. So yeah, the CPU IMVP underscore ton resistor is something that blows very very often it is a very very common fault and it's something that you should look for when your computer is not chiming if you have no v-core uh, and also another thing a lot of people they mistake no cpu v-core for no video so a lot of the times they turn it on everything works and they've got no nothing on the screen and a lot of the times in these tickets i'll even see technicians putting in no video they'll try a new screen they'll try all this crap to get video to work they'll even check the backlight fuse and it's if your shit is not chiming, if this is not chiming, and if you actually measure it on the multimeter and you see that there is no V-core, stop, do not pass go, do not do a, try to do any more shit, do not plug a new screen into it because you, you have no V-core. You need CPU V-core, the CPU has to be powered before you can look at anything else. So think about the last board that you had where it had no, you said no video, did it really have no video? And again, that's something that's really easy to misdiagnose on this board because sometimes, Sometimes the GPU fucks up so badly that it doesn't even chime anymore and it keeps the computer from booting properly. And this is an A202915 board, if I forgot to mention, which is one of the, one of the, like the up there with the, the crappiest motherboards that Apple has ever made. So it's just something to be cautious of, something to think about. Hopefully you'll learn something, and that's it for today.